Hey, this is Presh Walker. The diagram shows a sphere with center O that contains a cone whose diameter AB is equal to its height CM. What is the ratio of the cone's volume to the sphere's volume? This was posted on Reddit Ask Math with the title that nobody at the person's school could solve the problem. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Let's work it out step by step. The volume of a cone is equal to pi r squared h all over 3. Suppose a sphere has a different radius, capital R. The volume of the sphere is equal to 4 pi capital R cubed all over 3. So we ideally want to get the radius and the height of the cone in terms of the radius of the sphere. So we'd want r to be equal to some constant times the radius of the sphere and h to also be equal to some constant times the radius of the sphere. So let's see how we can work this out. To begin, let capital R be the radius of the sphere. So OC is equal to R, and OA is also equal to R. Let OM be equal to some distance D. Now CM is equal to R plus D, and we know that AB is equal to CM. That's given information. So AM is equal to half of AB, and that is equal to R plus D all over 2. So AM equals MB equals R plus D all over 2. Let's now focus on triangle AMO. Since it's a right triangle, AM squared plus OM squared is equal to AO squared. So we substitute in for AM, OM, and AO. Let's now focus on just this equation. We will square the binomial, then we will multiply both sides by 4. We can then group like terms. So we end up with 5d squared plus 2rd minus 3r squared is equal to 0. We'll solve this equation for d. We can try to factor. So we have 5d squared and negative 3r squared. So it could be factored as 5d minus something multiplied by 3r plus something. So in order to force 5d squared and to get 3r squared, we would need to have 5d minus r multiplied by 3r plus d. But if we expand this out, this will be 5d squared plus 14dr minus 3r squared, and this is not what the original quadratic was. So this is not what it factors into. So instead, we could try 5d minus something multiplied by r plus something. So this must be 5d minus 3r multiplied by r plus d. Expanding this out, this does exactly match the original equation. So this is what it factors into. So now we have two possible solutions. We have d is equal to 3r over 5, or d is equal to negative r. But we want d to be some positive value, so we'll eliminate that d is equal to negative r. So d is equal to 3r over 5. From here, cm is equal to r plus d, and that will be 8r over 5. Then am is equal to half of that, so that'll be equal to 4r over 5. We have now solved for the height and the radius of the cone, so the volume of the cone is equal to pi multiplied by am squared multiplied by cm all over 3. So we can substitute in, and then we just need to simplify so that we get the volume of the cone is equal to 128 pi r cubed all over 3 times 125. Finally, we have the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 pi r cubed all over 3. So we take the volume of the cone divided by the volume of the sphere. The pi r cubed terms cancel out. The 3s in the denominators cancel out. So this is equal to 128 divided by 125 all over 4. And that simplifies to be 32 divided by 125, which equals 0.256. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.